Now I just have figured out a really cool use for pick lens and that's to make crazy screen cams. <laughs> Look at all these when you do the search for 30 day challenge on YouTube. It's pretty way out. It's going back a long time too. Just brilliant. But let's fast forward to the next day and today's lesson is going to be about using twirl and I really want you to concentrate today because I think using twirl is such an important deal I really do I just think that when you're looking at using Twitter which is such a powerful mechanism and particularly when we look at using twirl um, and Twitter to communicate amongst teams and down the track for marketing as well it's it's just so important for you to use the right tools because one of the most important parts of Twitter is that it really is this most amazing technology tool. It just it needs to be used the right way and I think there's a lot of misinformation and so on about it. And one of the most important things is to make sure you use the tools properly. So let's go and have a look at Twirl. Okay, so here we are and you can see this is my standard screen which comes up now there are two things uh, two screens here on twirl and the first thing you need to notice is that they float and in fact if I just move one over here I just want to show something if I just if I'm looking at YouTube notice how it grays out so it becomes transparent see like that which is really cool because I actually have these situated off on my second monitor uh, which is a bit of an uh, extravagance, if you will, but it's um, brilliant for that. And so it only comes back into focus when you click on it. And I like that because it can be sitting around in the background and it can be racking up messages and information. And as it does that, you don't have to, it's not like you're being pulled away all the time. You can, it, it literally keeps all of these messages and it then enables you to, when you've got time, to be able to check it out. So let's take you through using Twirl. Now the first thing you need to know is I've got two screens here. You'll notice with this little T here, where my arrow is, that's my Twitter window. You'll notice over here, with the little FF icon, that's my friend feed window. We're gonna come back to friend feed in a couple of weeks time, because there's not a lot of point in looking at it now because there's some other things you need to set up to really make this thing sing. So we'll say bye bye to a friend feed. Now, so let me just show you a great example of why Twitter is so good. Um, I just before we started, in fact, you can see here 17 minutes ago, I've spent the last 15 minutes trying to get that starting intro all cool. Um, but I just did a tweet here which said, Hi gang, what's your favorite twirl feature? At Ed Dale Me. Now, let's first translate that because getting understanding what the at, and you'll see ats everywhere, those little at signs everywhere, what that means is one of the key uses and key understanding, if you will, of using Twitter. Because here's the cool thing. As long as I haven't blocked you, and I don't think I've blocked anybody on Twitter, if you use that at Ed Dale, if you literally go into your twirl window and click, you know, and just literally type at Ed underscore Dale, and then a message, I'm going to get it. Regardless of whether I follow you or not. And this is a very, very important distinction with Twitter. I think one of the most exciting things about Twitter is the access to people that you may never have had access to. And the question you've got to ask is, well, why would they be pleased to get a message from people? Wouldn't I be bothered all the time? Well, I can tell you from personal experience that no, I'm not bothered by it. And what I like about it is because you're limited to 140 characters, you have to get to the point and, and say exactly what you're after. And I think that's such a good discipline. Once you get used to using Twitter through Twirl, you'll find that it's just brilliant for testing headlines, for doing all sorts of things. Um, it makes you a better writer because you really have to get across your message in those 140 characters. And I think in this world, one of the reasons Twitter has taken off so much is that because it's so brief a message, bam, you get it. Oop, somebody's just dropped in another tweet right now. But have a look at this. Somebody's called shenanigans. Hang on, that's 
dangerous. Now, shooting a 30-day challenge video, now's your chance to feature, and there's X-ray specs. But you see, look at this. I asked, what's your favorite twirl feature? Uh, Rich says multiple accounts, and of course you can have multiple accounts. I'm not gonna cover that particular one in this video because I just want you to be comfortable with your own account first up, but you could easily have multiple uh, accounts inside of Twirl, which means you could have one for your niche, one for you personally, one for your 30 day challenge team. Depends how you wanna manage it. It's up to you. Um, Dave Webb says here, I love Twirl. Still not completely sold on Flock though. We're working on that. Still haven't shown you the best. Uh, Simon Lung says I owe him $10 and he says notifications of new replies and direct messages. Let me show you that feature. If I move down here to the at symbol, look at this. Every person that sent an at Ed Dale, you can see here, and you'll see a whole bunch of these, if you will, um, as we go down through this. Every one of those people um, have personally messaged me. Even though I'm not following all of those people, I've got their message, and you can filter that by doing clicking on the little at button at the bottom of the screen. Let's go back to the home screen. Uh, now, here we are. One of the wonderful McPhersons. Uh, you can now use it with friend feed. That is a big deal, and but we'll show you that uh, show you that tomorrow. Nathan here says, and it's a very good idea, shortening of URLs and auto twit pick. What do we mean by that? Let's show you. Uh, if I go up to a web page, here we are. It's, I'll just go up to my YouTube page here. I'm gonna copy this. Now that's a that's not actually the worst type of um, you know URL a blog would have usually have a very long URL. Now if I go back to twirl here and I click see this little icon here, this is the shortened URL icon. And if I paste into here, now I happen to use twirl. There is, you'll see that they've actually built in two or three different services here. I use Twirl because Twirl uses tracking and it gives you free um, tracking to see who's actually clicked on your link. Again, not a big deal now, but it will become a big deal. So let's click uh, shorten, boom, give it a second. And look at this, here we are. It's all of a sudden given me this code here, which is a shortcut instead of having to type all of that other things, which gives me, as you can see down here, and this is an important thing, just where my cursor is, you can see I've got 109 characters left. Everybody will be wondering why I'm writing about YouTube homepages, but anyway. And I'm gonna click that little tick, and when you click in the little tick, oh, did I press it, there we are. Sending the tweet, tweet sent, done. There we have it. So I've just sent that uh, message. Uh, now, for example, if I want to uh, reply to Sharon here, I could click, see when I move the, oh, let me finish TwitPix, sorry. TwitPix here. Now you can see here, this, if I click on this little camera and I want to post an image to TwitPix, I can use this service to do it, which is very cool. Now I'm not sure if I've got this set up, so we'll see. I'll just use my South Park one, select. There's the image, I could have picked any any image, click post image. You can see it's uploading. There it is. This Now, I've done a couple of cool things here. One is I've used TwitPic, and you guys can go back and have a look. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, and you'll be able to see this run after the videos. Um, now, this is my, now notice this here, hash, 30 DC. You might see what's called a hash mark uh, inside Twitter. This is another cool Twitter thing, which allows little events, it's particularly useful around events. When you're at an event or doing indeed the 30 day challenge and you're posting something relevant to the 30 day challenge, by using hash 30 DC, it means it will be picked up by a whole bunch of other services, which I'll show you at a later date. So I've killed two birds with one stone here. And all I have to do is click tick, Boom, I've sent my tweet, which is very cool. Now, if I want to reply to somebody, all I have to do is put my photo, uh, sorry, not my photo, my cursor 
my little mouse here, over the at button. And I've got a few few choices you might notice. One is at send reply, as you can, you can see there. I can also send a direct message. I heart, <coughs> pardon me. I heartily encourage, if you're gonna send a message back saying like, yes, I agree with you, or yeah, check, oh, wasn't that funny? Something like that, which doesn't mean anything to anybody else, I really heartily encourage you to use the direct message. Uh, because that way it doesn't show up on your actual Twitter feed, which I think is a big deal. So that's a, another part of this, uh, this whole thing. But the way I would then respond to Sharon is saying, Sharon, spot on. Now, I always, when I do replies, I try to take the content of what the person's asking me about or telling me about, and then switching that back into the actual context of the text. Why? Because if people are following me and they happen to come across this particular tweet that I've actually sent to Sharon, they've got some context. They know what I'm talking about. Um, it's very distracting, I find, in feeds if you're reading something where it seems like a one-way conversation. And I just don't think it's good manners. Uh, spot on. And then hit a twist, hit the thing, and that will be sent directly to Sharon. And it won't go out to my general feed. If you go to my Twitter homepage, though, you would see that. So that's why I like providing context. Uh, Nathan, we talked about. Um, bliss of being, the ability to view only at replies is a really cool thing, and we've shown you that, which is great. The unobtrusive operation and the nice interface are beautiful. Look at that, multiple accounts, friend feed. How about this, you know, the built-in semi searching, and I've got to say, this thing is really sweet. If we go down and click our search icon, which is right down the bottom here, and click that, check this out. If I type in, and again, this is why I don't need to follow people as all the time because I can use the some eyes search engine. You can see there's a couple there, tweet scan and some eyes. Some eyes I think is now really superior in operation. And I type in Ed Dale doing the classic ego search and click search. Now, interestingly, you can use this as an RSS feed, which I'll tell you about later, but you can see here that Christy has said, playing with Twit, Google Reader, and Friend Feeder. Ed Dale gives a lot of homework for a Sunday night. I do. We just have come off our 30-day challenge show, and we were talking all about this. Uh, look, James here is learning the 30-day challenge pre-season. Uh, Steve's just watching uh, the pre-season show. Good on you, Steve. Ed Dale's giving out secrets. I did give out a big secret on the 30-day challenge show. Mimdoc was watching myself and Kevin Riley at the same time. Rick Butts was pushing uh, out the fact that I was streaming. Thank you, Rick. Um, there you have it. And anytime somebody mentions Ed Dale, it's there. If I type, I don't know, Dan Rain, this could be interesting. Let's see, people will be going, where's Dan? <laughs> Dan's working very hard. Uh, there we go, Dan Rain, coolest tool, immediate, uh, the networker, it's a, he's a, a brilliant tool, so you can see all these people commenting on Dan, so you can do that, you can do this for anything. What if we did, uh, let's try some, you know, trout fishing. Do, do, do. Tomorrow morning, trout fishing in a national park, semi-legally. Uh, went trout fishing, caught nothing. Uh, Alaskan fishing trout. Driving back from fishing with my dad. Look at that, you know. Fascinating. Even on a you know relatively trendy services Twitter, there's still people talking about trout fishing. Now you can imagine the interest when you start to look at this from your own uh, your own perspective in your own niches as well, which is really uh, really interesting. So we've got our at replies. We've got uh, direct messages. I'm not going to show you that because people might have direct messaged me. Pause here. And we might come back for a second video and we'll show you the rest of how to use Twirl. So join us in part two.